That's exactly what's happening with the NAACP thing on Florida, right? Like that black people shouldn't go to Florida because it's racist. And then some people are dragging in his policies, not only on not teaching critical race theory uh, in K through 12 curriculum, but also not talking about trans ideology or sexual orientation in curriculum in schools. They're linking the two together back to what you were saying before. What do you make of that whole? I mean, there's people aren't going to listen to that. They know that's a political hit job. Yeah, it's I mean, it's emotional strong arming. They they say I saw an article the other day on the route that said black people should be uh, afraid of DeSantis. And I had to just laugh at that. Right. And I think it's on his website, The Root. But The Root has been purchased by Huffington Post some time ago. Now, all you got to do is go on The Root and type in um, black um, immigration hurts the black community. So when The Root first started out, it was more it was more black conservative. You'll start to see, you know, what black conservatism look like organically in 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 the black community. And not this political black conservatism of, you know, the Candace Owens brand, but more like what it looks like without politics, just conservatism Mm. as a culture. Mm -hmm. Now, the root was talking about how immigration was hurting black people. But then once the white liberal comes in and purchases the root, then the agenda comes in. You have your you know, your, your black liberals that come in and they know what their master wants them to do. The master doesn't even have to tell them anymore. They know exactly what the master wants. And it's basically the fear monger. And he mm-hmm. want to make black people afraid of republicanism. They want to make black people afraid of the political party that black people started. Because as Sonny Johnson says, the Democrats claim to be the party of the poor. But you can't be the party of the poor if there is no poor. So they're they're basically, you know, they want to keep the black community poor. And how do you do that? You keep them irrational. You keep them in fear, and you don't keep you don't you do not allow them to think. It just goes back to the old slave master, you know, uh, slave dynamic, where he said, you know, you can't let them think too much. Don't let them read. Don't educate them. The Democrats are the party of slavery, but they've simply just evolved to where now it's just more mental slavery and they don't want their people thinking. They don't want black people thinking. They want to keep them in an emotional state, a state of fear, just like the master. Keep them in a state of fear. They won't leave the plantation. Keep them in a state of fear. They won't leave the Democratic Party. So now you have DeSantis. He's the new boogeyman. We saw them out there protesting DeSantis in Florida. Why again? Why? Oh, oh, because you want to infiltrate children's minds with your Bud Light agenda. I get it. Can't pull that one over on me. But, you know, the idea that DeSantis is, and it's almost like, in a way, this is like helping Trump because they villainized um, DeSantis more than Trump because of the whole attack on critical race theory and, you know, he's saying he's erasing black history and whatnot. But the thing is uh, about that, like, it's not black history they're teaching. They're teaching white history. You know, when they teach black history, it's always about, you know, what the white man did to the black man, what the white man did to the black man. Okay, what about black people and just black history with the omission of white people? They don't teach that. They can't teach that because if they did, black people might stop voting for um, uh, socialist policies and start to think that they can do for themselves. But, Mm. you know, this whole attack on DeSantis just shows how desperate they are. Uh, And it's just it's just quite frankly, um, you know what it is? It's kind of tired because it's the same playbook they ran on Trump. Junk science. That is what the doctor called many of those fruit and vegetable supplements on the market. Junk science because they use extracts of common produce department fruits and vegetables with few health benefits. But I want to tell you about Field of Greens. Field of Greens is different. They use the whole organic fruit and vegetable, not a watered-down supplement. And it's backed by a better health promise, which I'm about to tell you about. Each ingredient in Field of Greens was scientifically chosen to support vital organs like heart, lungs, and kidney health. Others support your immune system, blood pressure, metabolism, and healthy weight loss. Their better better health promise is simple. The next time you're at the doctor for a checkup, if the doctor does not say you're looking healthier than before, you get your money back. That's a deal right there. 
So let me get you started with 15% off. Visit fieldofgreens.com and use my promo code MK. That's promo code MK at fieldofgreens.com. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.